uh, is, is uh, the least of my worries. I mean, because uh, they, uh, uh, much to my surprise, had been following my career and were very uh, uh, respectful and uh, cooperative and, and given with their special skills, too, they, because they wouldn't be where they are with uh, these huge uh, recording contracts and huge schedules. Uh, if they uh, didn't have certain uh, special abilities, which I respect a great deal. So the chemistry was definitely uh, um, in power during this uh, collaboration. scene in uh, New York in the 50s was very healthy, uh, as it is today. I saw people uh, like Miles Davis uh, uh, honing their careers, uh, more or less, uh, right before my eyes. The Modern Jazz Quartet was just born at that time, because uh, I arrived there in 1955. If you came like I did, I just came. Nobody invited me. It is a little bit difficult. I had to work uh, in department stores and uh, uh, restaurants was my favorite place to work because, of course, we could eat. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't that, uh, but at age 21, uh, you know, I think you have more daring than you do uh, when you're my age. I wouldn't want to try it now at 62. But uh, who knows? Uh, uh, maybe I could get through now, too. <laughs> and I, I uh, sat in with the great Duke Ellington uh, when I was in military service and I was stationed in New Jersey, just a few miles outside of New York City. And this was back in the uh, 50s, as a matter of fact. Uh, so uh, me and a friend of mine, uh, who was a singer, uh, dared asked uh, the great Ellington to sit in. And he said yes, and I was just thrilled. Uh, you know, and I, I, First of all, we were in disbelief because we didn't think he would let us. But uh, my friend sang a, a tune, uh, what is this thing called, Love? I played, Duke stepped down. And he told me to uh, go easy on those keys, young man. <laughs> In jest, a typical Ellington's phrase. And then when he came back and we finished the piece, he said, I thought I told you to go easy, which uh, is uh, something that has endeared to him to me uh, still to this day. Jazz messages is, uh, is uh, essentially one of the uh, the things to do as a young musician. It was uh, uh, until his uh, passing, uh, Art Blakey, that is. I was very aware of uh, the importance of playing with such an internationally recognized group, and Art was a great uh, band leader. He uh, insisted, uh, as a matter of fact, on all of us, uh, meaning uh, Wayne Shorter, Freddie Hubbard, and Curtis Fuller, and uh, myself submitting our uh, original compositions uh, just as fast as we could. And as soon as we accumulated about six in those days of uh, long play records, we would record. So there was unlimited uh, opportunity for us as composers and arrangers. Well, my compositions uh, usually uh, come to me while I'm seated at the piano alone. Me being a piano player, I can only speak from uh, my, my own viewpoint, which is uh, Total advantage when you can look down, sort of like, like you're in a helicopter, you can see uh, where a person has been, uh, in this case where a note has been and where, where, where it's going, where it is at the present. And so you can uh, uh, utilize that to 100%. Uh, this uh, CD consists of uh, only uh, Cedar Walton compositions uh, uh, for two reasons, mainly because uh, no one ever approached me to do such a thing before. 
Uh, and I was very impressed when Steve Plotnicki of uh, Astor Place Records uh, approached me with this idea. And um, also because I am the first artist on this label, it's a new jazz label. And uh, I'm very intrigued by this idea. Uh, 1996, September, in Monterey, California, where I'll be uh, introducing a, a brand new work uh, featuring jazz sextet and 20, 20 strings. And I'm, I'm in the midst of writing a new work now for that one occasion. And uh, it'll be recorded, though, because they record everything in Monterey. So there'll be an audio re representation of, of this uh, event. And I'm looking forward to it. And error. I still have reached the utopia of a, of a jazz musician, which uh, I don't know what, what that is. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but uh, uh, I'm certainly uh, not uh, interested in uh, uh, dropping out of the race.